Hey, it's Debbie at Basket Case Mama's Fab Finds. How are you this morning? We are at the Big Goodwill. Drop the kid off at work again. She's not a kid anymore. She's like 22 now, all grown up. Anyway, um, we are here to see what treasures we can find. We're going to do some happy shopping. Um, I am kind of, I have a lot of stuff to list. I have a big money pile going right now. Um, that means stuff that needs to be listed. There's money there, but I can't sell it if I don't list it. So I'm not really looking for a lot today. My goal is if I'm going to buy anything, I can get a couple things that are good profit. So well, that's what we're going to look for today. If I'm leaving stuff behind, don't feel, be mad at me. I just don't have room to store a lot more right now. I'm just trying to hone it in. Um, we might get to another store today too. We'll see how it goes. But, um, first we're into here and let's see what we find. and that spring box puzzle would be great if it wasn't sealed up in, um, with tape, packing tape instead of actually sealed. Um, so I'm just kind of seeing what's cool here, if there's anything I can find, lots of puzzles. Um, and puzzles can be great if they're sealed. There's a Frosty the Snowman kids book and some match it, mix it up, dress up cards and a drawing kit, tri track, 3D creator. There's lots of different things. The awkward family photos was kind of funny. <laughs> um, and you know, you never know what you're gonna find here. There's like old McDonald games and just lots of different things. Um, that was a snowball thrower. The last thing I ever would need would be a snowball thrower. But there's lots of cool things here. And um, I, of course, right behind that is our plush. So that little um, bear had a backpack, but it was missing its battery cover. Um, it was by Play School, so I did end up leaving it. Um, there's a Mickey Mouse race car and a cute little donkey plush. Um, he was by Hallmark. But he was pretty cute. He was $3.99. The tags today were purple and red, so I was keeping an eye out for those colors. That's half price at our stores. A Raggedy Ann doll, but she's not vintage. I do have a vintage Raggedy Ann, and even those mm, don't sell for great money. But um, a little graduation tiger and a little kitty cat. And this owl is super cute. He also is battery operated. Um, but he wasn't working and he was purple. So I did debate about him, but he wasn't working. So I left him behind this time, I think, after I played with the box for a little bit. <laughs> no luck. I like little toys like that though. And if they work, all the better. I do sometimes pick them up, even if they're not working. Um, but I'm a person, if I'm going to give it to you, I want to give batteries to it. So if I'm investing batteries in it, then it's going to really be worth something to me. So I was just trying to get him to work because I liked him. He was cute. Um, there is a, um, little stuffed animal from the movie Anastasia. His name begins with a P, like Piku or something like that. A mouse on, um, Candy Cane Sleigh. A Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, that was. I need to back off a little bit with the camera. It's hard for you guys to see. A gigantic, like, pillow dog is what I'm kind of looking at here. I'm trying to see behind him. It's very hard to do filming and looking at the same time in this section because there's just so much stuff. This was a squishable um, in the package, but that's not a Squishmallow. There's an Olaf. I actually have an Olaf in my stock presently. Um, a little koala bear, um, 
just trying to see what it what is there. That is a Pluto dog, a very floppy Pluto dog too. This little guy is a um, Hallmark dog and he tells stories and I actually have one in my, they had the girl and the boy and I actually have one in my store right now, the boy, but I'm looking for the storybook and I can't find that. So he was a cute dog. I really like when dogs have their tongues sticking out. He is a Build-A-Bear. I put him into my cart because I wanted to see what he was worth. There's a Papa Smurf. There's a big black pillow of a kitty cat. There's another Smurf. And I looked at the Smurf too, Papa Smurf. Um, he was pretty cute. I think I popped him in my cart and looked him up too. Because uh, I was looking for if he was old or new, if he was vintage. And I don't believe he was vintage. I think he was newer, so you'll see. I think I end up putting him back. But And he was actually 2010, so back he went to the shelves. So I'm still looking around, trying to see what else there was. A Shrek donkey. Donkey from Shrek. And was a teddy town teddy bear in the bag with a pink. I like the bags because, as you can see, this is $4.99. It only had two things in it, so that would be three things, maybe. And there's a poo. Like, so I'm trying to see, is it worth picking it up? What's in it? There was a beanie boo in it. But um, I was seeing there was another bag, so I was grabbing that one. There's another one down there. I think I ended up grabbing them all eventually and looking in them as I went through all this. But um, I'm trying to see. He's another doggy. My I spy with my little eye of fox, and I do like foxes. This was a musical fox that goes on to a crib, and I'm doing such an ex cloud B. I'm just doing a great tie job of showing it to you, too. I'm so sorry. And I did put him in my cart and looked him up later. There's another bag with some more plush in it. And they're all kind of like rattle toys and things. And maybe I should have picked that up because I ended up picking up something that I probably shouldn't have picked up because it was in, not in very good condition. But you never know in the bags. The thing about the bags is you never know. It's a little lumberjack bear. He's an animal adventure. And he was pretty cute. I do like animal adventure as a plush brand. Um, there's a Minnie Mouse with bunny ears. How perfect is she? Yeah. <laughs> and there's a Beanie Boo fox. Also super cute. My daughter-in-law is big into foxes as part of her liter her company's literary fox. So these are some action figure guys, and I was just seeing what the price was, seeing if it was anything I wanted to pick up. I have a lot of little toys right now. There's two Paw Patrol dogs and a Sesame Street bleh, Sesame Street train. I try to say that fast at the end of the day. Um, so as I'm doing this voiceover, I'm in my office and I've been doing things all day. So I'm a little tired now. It's a classic poo, which I actually really love. I love the button on his tail. Like he is really cute. It's an Eeyore, but he was a little dingy. So I ended up putting him back. Um, that was a puppet. Also something I like to pick up from time to time. Um, and again, he, I think he goes back to, I didn't pick up a lot of things and I did check everything I picked up, but he was cute with his little green eyes. So these are like squish, not real squish mellows. I think they're called squish squishes or something. So I was just seeing, and a lot of the squish mellow market has kind of mellowed. So I'm not really picking any of them up unless they're the spectacular ones. Um, this is a cute little koala. It's Climb for Courage, which is some kind of fundraiser. I'm not completely sure what it was. And while I was filming, there was a child and a mom about three feet ahead of me. So you'll see, I'm going to probably going to cut out the nail on that plastic. So here I am with plastics, which is, I just have to look at Usually there's not so much here Starbucks, interests me, but we're going to take a look. A Yeti in here. It's a over. There's a cute little policeman mug, but it wasn't marked. I like that. Sesame Place. Sesame Street. Um, we were very close. Well, we were really far away from. I'm seeing if this is really not, not very far from Sesame Place. These are good. In Pennsylvania. 
um, see a lot of those kinds of things in Disney. Cups, refillable cups, of course. Um, that was a puzzle, and it was vintage, but it was rubber band. And um, too many pieces. I love doing puzzles, but I you know, was not going to have the time to put together that old spring puzzle. Um, I kind of wish I did, because it was probably a good, if it was complete, it probably would have been a good gift. And I think I put it in my own heart for the moment, because I was kind of trying to look more details. Like, I, it totally looks vintage. So I'm trying to see, is there a date on here? Um, I'm it does say 1970 there. I just saw it. I don't think that's the one. I put it back. But, um, yeah. I had time to put that together. Where did he bring it to? I don't think they could have been. And they already have 140 things too many to do. So, and the diet book. So, that was a good candlestick. Um, it was pressed glass. Um, the different parts of pressed is pressed glass is usually, you know, it looks like that glass that's rather smooth and. But cut glass, you can tell when you touch it. It'll, it feels very sharp. Um, so these are a couple little the pretty piece, though. And just see oh, where it's numbered. Mark was um, on the bottom of them. Let's see. The glare from the lights is weird. It's so I can't bad, the one-handed the... work. Oh, it's a Nesco. But I believe it was. Um, okay. They were. We have this little boy. Okay. Forget he too has but, a flower um, and a vase. And some flowers on the bottom that are wildly not a little date on the No, I don't think so. And he did not he have any, any stickers. And he did not have a sticker. And I didn't take up the figure in time now because, um, as I said in the early, I used to have I'm a picture just like that many now. I actually had a plate like this that was my grandmother's ago. This is cute. And that was flash painted. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. That's and it's flash painted, but, but it was kind of cute. Paint lost trouble flash painted. Still here. That little poinsettia bowl is still there. I think it's been there for three weeks now. Are you? I picked them up. I don't know your cotton ball. Go where his tail was. Maybe like a little scented cotton ball or something. Your tail. There's a hole in the bottom too. So I'm just smart. It's very pretty. I I don't think that he was old, but you see me, I'm really debating about this because it's after Easter and he was no. looking for big things. Down, Remember, down, we're looking down, for big down, things. Down. We're, we're not big looking for little things. We're, looking, we're not looking for big, looking gigantic things. things. We're looking for big money. Bigger return so. on investment. Ooh, here's a Bigger mama. returns. Here's the other thing. <laughs> it's go. after holidays. Everybody's getting rid of their bunnies, I guess. So that one's pretty cute. It's a little bit bigger. Look at you guys. These guys are so cute. Oh my cute. gosh, they were like a stone. Mm -hmm. I know oh what they gosh. are. They're modern, they, but they're stone. They're resin. Look how cute. I went back to the really video. Cute. I find some. I up really, really cute. I just want to put my cards back. Look at that cool. So, some little votives and a little step stool. And some paper plates. Little bunny. And then another bunny and a frosted glass. I look at that too. I should always look at Ross's glasses. Oh, that's fine. Something like a leak lingering on the um, things. It's just a little bit cool. Oh, that's funny. It's for holding another grabbing. It's on the top shelf. I'll try it. That's comical. All this stuff. So this is that section that's like a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a whole bunch of stuff I don't want. They've been here for a while. I wonder when they get to go not here. There's some paper placemats for kids back in the back. Trying to see who they're crazy. What's behind? Christmas. Somebody opened this and took out what they want and left what they didn't want in the bag. I hate when they do that. It's just so annoying when people do that. It's not that one, folks. A big gigantic bunny dressed in Victorian clothes. I had one of those in the 80s. 
Some, it's like a screwdriver set. That's interesting. Yeah. I think it was like a base steamer thing. A little wooden box. I do like little boxes. Funny, little wooden boxes can actually not do bad. I sold a wooden box for like $35 recently. Just a plain wooden box. Nothing exciting about it. Pretty design on yeah, it. Big. I don't have a green Heavy. thumb, but it's Planter, pretty design. Uh, <laughs> You'll see me leaving things on the shelf, but maybe if, you know I'm looking for inventory a little more diligently. I might pick up. So um, you know, if I'm picking up, I'm going to bag and show me. You like these? These are like I don't even know what they are. Plastic things. Yeah. A couple cups. Let's take off not so much space. Two picks. Two picks. Cookie so press. Mm -hmm. Like I said, this section is just got a little bit of that's a fun thing. My daughter dance. We have a lot of those probably around my house right now. <laughs> um, if you have those little dancers in the house, you know what their hot buns are. Mm -hmm. I was trying to figure out what the that was, and I'm not sure I did actually. So, do you have a what that was? Probably. I shall oh, be back. It's getting sure. crowded in Travel here. game. And now we're going around to the other side to see what we can find. So, it's an edible arrangement. Mug. And next to it is a Noah's Ark um, musical water globe. But look at the bubble on the top. So disappointing. Um, and it is made in China. But it's super cute. Little pig sticking his head out of the boat. Um, really, really, really cute. I just love stuff like that. Then there was a wooden paint it yourself Noel sign and a little truck with a Christmas tree in it. And then there's this. And I actually picked this up. It's a little Godwin from Matthew 626. And, you know, look at the birds. But it does seem to be like a hand-done embroidery piece. And it's only $1.99. So I popped that in my cart. And I did end up bringing that one home. Um... There's a very pretty little um, iridescent dish back there that I was looking at. Um, and again, you see all this like clear glass down here, the cut, and I'm just kind of perusing. Honestly, when I'm really looking hard, you'll notice this is a divided dish and has the sterling silver plated rim on it. But when I am diligently looking, I'm gonna be picking things up and looking under them more than I am in this video. Um, and you should definitely do that because there is stuff hidden everywhere and when you're really looking for stuff you need to move the boxes out of the way but it's really hard to do that while you're filming um so if you end up doing youtube you'll notice that you will do things and then go back this was like a milk jug with a cap but it was also measuring cups and it was modern but it was the coolest thing i think i've ever seen i was like a cup and like all the different cup sizes very cool um so I would kept looking. I looked at that a little bit because that was kind of interesting and different. Different things do sell and often do well. Um, and I, you know, if I was looking for more things, I probably would have put that in my cart and at least looked it up. There's a little toothbrush holder. And there's some, I think the soap dishes are coming up. Oh, look, the row of soap dishes. <laughs> there's like three of them. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, a little sterling plate teapot. Some beeswax candles um again that might have been something that i would have normally looked up there's a happy birthday plate there in the blue and white some more clear glass and um lots of just little ramekins and some vases and bottles i did like that orange bottle but it reminded me of something i've seen at the dollar store those were like um different shaped um, Mickey Mouse and Star's um, ice cube trays. So also something that's a little different and cute. And now we're down looking in the bags. Now that was, I believe, a cut glass piece. You can see how it was a little pointier and sharper looking. So you always touch it and feel it when you're going around. So I was looking at that because it has all the, it was, I thought it was checking to make sure it wasn't logo burger because it had the liner, it had the ruffle, it had all different things going on in it. Um, but it looked, it was just regular. So you'll see this bunny mold here. It's a chocolate bunny mold, and I walk right past it. Oh, I should have picked it up. They're, they can be very valuable. So anyway, this is about the end of this video, 
And um, I did pick up a few more things, so I'll show you at the end. Hey everybody! So the whole spend at the Big Goodwill was nineteen dollars and two cents, um, and I ended up putting back the Pimpernel. I don't know if you saw me, but I had a Pimpernel um, reindeer cork um, back set of placemats in the box, not new, but in the box, and um, a box of uh, Pimpernel coasters, which I think I got because. $2.99 that were Bermuda. They're worth about maybe $15.20. I ended up keeping just the, I found a lovey last minute that I threw in the bag. So I kept that. And the white polar bear is worth about $40, $45. So he got to stay. And I ended up getting a white blouse that still had the tags on it that was $124 retail. But it's actually worth next to nothing online, so I'm keeping it. It's my size, so I'm going to use it when I go on vacation because it's beautiful. So $10 of that 20 was for me. So I think I did pretty good today for my little stuff. I'm going to turn $9 and a penny into $50, $60 um, over, to, over you know the things I got. I ended up putting back most everything. The little music box that I picked up the was beautiful, but it was sprung. It wouldn't, it would want, it would like, you'd hear the spring unwind. So it wouldn't wind. So I kept put that back. So anyway, um, and that's it. You got to check everything. You got to look everything up. That's what you got to do. Um, or you'll get it home and you'll be up disappointed. And sometimes I still get it home even after I look at it and I'm disappointed. Um, so anyway, that was it for this haul. I'm going to head out to another um, thrift store and I will check out them and see what we find. Okay. See you soon Okay, so another four little things um, the total price of this haul was Four five six seven eight fifty so four items eight fifty um, We're gonna start down here. This is a petite lamour elephant. He was half price because he was on sale purple tag So it was a dollar fifty and he goes for forty this one was $2.99 and he goes for $30. He is a gun polar bear. He also could benefit from a little wipe down. Um, he has beads, so I can't really wash them. But um, this one was $1.99. It's an embroidered finish nicely with some felt on the back in the hoop um, piece with uh, Matthew 626. Look at the birds. Um, I love that constant reminder how God watches over you if he takes care of the birds. And that was only $1.99 and I haven't really found a comp on it, but I think I might just start an auction at 20 and see what happens because it's super cute. And then these are Pimpernel, the Bermuda collection. These are coasters. Um, they were $1.99. There's only five of them in there. Um, but they go between 12 and 17 dollars so we'll see how they do okay but that's everything for this all um so it's 70 80 and whatever that brings let's say 90 100 another hundred dollars um just in four little things so um you really can like shop small and find some great buys so those are the haul that's the haul for this and i'll be back soon with some more haul videos and some more things and um i appreciate you guys watching please hit the subscription button and um to, and the notifications you'll see when i pop up new videos and um like this video and comment the more likes and comments the more people will see it i appreciate all your support guys and i'll talk to you soon thanks so much